I've had some questions recently about Juno's gear as well as some interest in her stuff. So this is her closet. Surprisingly enough, this is uh, not all of it. <laughs> but this video is specifically going to be about her canine tactical gear harness. So if you are interested in seeing how we have our harness set up as well as a bit of a review of this harness, keep watching. This is Juno's canine tactical gear defender harness. She has it in coyote tan and she wears a medium, which it is marked right there. And then I also have the removable mesh with Velcro backing. So it does attach to the harness across the inside there with Velcro. So you can have just the harness or you can have it with the, you know, mesh place for patches. I think they do one that's just mesh and one that has like an ID um, holder thing as well. They have three options on their website. It has a leash attachment here at the top towards the shoulder blades and then one here towards the back along with an elastic if you wanted to like hold, keep the handle down. I just always have hers out. It also connects with a frog snap buckle here. It's got heavy duty, you know, metal attachments. It's got their logo here on the chest. And then it is adjustable with Velcro across both like shoulder straps and then also down here on the chest. So I have some patches on her harness as well. So let me go through those. So this is our normal setup. Uh, depending on my mood, I'll change up the colors and the patches sometimes, but this is the one that she wears most often. So on both of the shoulder panel Velcro areas, I have a Canine Tactical Gear Do Not Pet Patch in Toboggan Orange with white font. So that is on both sides of the shoulders. I like that this is really bright. Um, it's kind of hard for people to miss. <laughs> so I would say with this setup, I don't have as many people uh, trying to pet her without asking or asking to pet. And then on the Velcro section, I have this in-training patch. I made this patch with my embroidery machine. And then this is a tan American flag. I don't recall where this is from off the top of my head, but I'll put it in the description. It could be either from Canine Tactical Gear, Modern Icon, or Tacti Pup. So that'll be in the description. And then on this side of the Velcro, I have our Mandalorian patch because we are quite the Star Wars fans in this household and then a Instagram handle patch and this patch is from Canine Tactical Gear as well. So here it is on Juno. Now there are some things that I don't love about this harness. The first being that the frog snap here seems to, I just don't love its placement. That's her shoulder blade right there. And I just feel like it digs in, but specifically, this buckle here, I don't like, that's her armpit. I just feel like it might be kind of uncomfortable. And then mine tends to want to lean towards the side with the buckle. So sometimes it doesn't stay super straight across her back. Do you know, sit. Good. So you can see sometimes it gets a little sideways here in the front. Huh, are you sideways? But overall, I do really like it. They are quite expensive, so I just wanted to, you know, make note of the things that, some cons about it or things I don't really like. So you can decide whether it's worth it or not to buy one. But yeah. I like it, we'll still use it. <laughs> Overall, it's not too bad.